hello children in this session we shall go through lesson 7 the mauryan empire the mauryan empire was one of the biggest empires to have existed across the indian mainland the mauryan empire was established by chandragupta maurya chandragupta set up a vast empire by adding one state to other from bengal in the east to hindakush in the west and from the himalayas in the north to the mysore in the south the capital of the mauryan empire was patliputra which is modern day patna chandragupta maurya founded this dynasty after defeating the last nanda ruler dhananand with the help of chanakya or kautilya Let us know about Chanakya. Chanakya is popularly known as Kautilya. He was a great diplomat. It was Kautilya who provoked Chandragupta to take over the throne of Magadha. He was the prime minister and advisor under the reign of Chandragupta. Chanakya wrote Arthashastra. It is one of the best books written on administration and politics till date. It was Kautilya who took Chandragupta to Takshila as his disciple and trained him in different arts. He also provoked him to take over the throne of Magadha. Now we shall know about the successors of Chandragupta. After Chandragupta his son Bindusar sat on the throne of Magadha he extended the vast empire which he inherited from his father he brought 16 new states under the Mauryan empire after Bindusar his son Ashoka succeeded the throne Ashoka the great was a great conqueror at that time Kalinga had an important position as it controlled the route to South India both by land and sea therefore it was necessary that it should become a part of Mauryan dynasty so it was a challenge for Ashoka Ashoka defeated Kalinga but this war was a turning point in Ashoka's life The bloodshed and destruction of Kalinga war filled his heart with remorse and guilt. Thus Ashoka embraced Buddhism and renounced wars and violence. He appointed special officers called Dham Mahamantras to show the right way of life to the people. Ashoka inscribed his messages on rocks and pillars in prakrit language so that common people could read them children please note our national emblem and ashok chakra in our national flag are taken from the ashoka pillar for the promotion of buddhism ashoka sent his son mahendra and daughter sangmitra to sri lanka to spread his messages Ashoka held the third Buddhist council in Patliputra. So children, the history of the world has not seen another emperor as generous and humanitarian as Ashoka. After Ashoka, the power of the Magadha empire became weak due to the weak successors of Ashoka. Pushyamitra Shunga who was the commander in chief of the Mauryan empire assassinated the last Mauryan emperor Brihadrath and captured the Mauryan empire so children we have learned that a new era was opened in indian history after the establishment of Mauryan empire ye itihas mein pehli baar tha jab jab ki politically sari india united hui thi That's all for today children goodbye